Most small business people don't have IT departments charged with keeping their hardware up and running. We tend to do it ourselves. We go through different phases of support with our computer. There's the initial setup phase. Then there's the ongoing maintenance phase, which includes backing up our data and keeping our computer safe and secure. Then there's the unfortunate problem-solving phase, when something has gone wrong and we need to address it. Lenovo is acutely aware of these phases of maintenance, and they've packed a whole range of tools into their notebooks and desktops. With the consumer models like the N100, they call the package of tools Lenovo Care, and we access it with an easy-to-access button right here at the top of the computer, which brings up all of the different utilities ready for us to use. Now, on the business line, it's called Think Vantage, and again, an easy-access button brings up all of the tools. Now, if you don't want to press on the button, we can also access these tools through the Start menu by looking under Think Vantage. And here we see just how many tools we have available to us. This basically manages and maintains our computer from the day we buy it to the day that we retire it. Now, what's the first thing that we need to do? The first thing we need to do with any new computer is we need to get all of our stuff on the computer. We need our files. We need our settings. We need our applications. We need to spend a lot of time setting up a new computer. Well, not anymore because they've got the System Migration Assistant. I think the longest it's ever taken me to set up a notebook computer is about a week from start to finish to get everything working the way I like. I think next time it's going to be a lot quicker. The Migration Assistant is going to help us move all of our files and our application data and all of our settings from our old system onto our new. And we can do that by Ethernet cable, memory key, and USB removable hard drive. So basically, we walk through this wizard, and it's going to move all of our files, all of our email, all of our contacts and addresses. It's also going to move all of our system settings. Things like our printer drivers are all going to be moved over. The only thing it's not going to install on our computer are our applications. We're going to have to reinstall our applications. But overall, the amount of time going from old computer to new notebook is dramatically reduced with the System Migration Assistant. So once you've done that, then you're ready to get your computer on the internet for the first time. And this is one of my, actually this is my favorite tool of all of the different tools. Find wireless networks. Now you're going to use this at the beginning, but if you travel around, you're going to use this tool an awful lot. The reason I like it is it's so pretty. It tells us graphically what wireless networks are available to us, tells us if they're locked or if they're open, and here we see the studio airport that I work with here in the studio, and we see that I have almost 100% connectivity. It's really physically close by. We see this other network quite a ways away, and it's a lockdown network telling me I can't get on board. Now, where this is really useful is for road warriors. Say you're staying in a hotel, and you have Wi-Fi access in your hotel, and they have several different access points on several different floors. You can't tell just by looking at your network control panel which one has the strongest signal, which one you should be using in order to have the best throughput to the Internet. With this, you're graphically going to see exactly which one has the best signal, choose which one to log on to. It's a brilliantly simple tool that really serves a need. Now, before we spend a whole bunch of time browsing the net with our new computer, though, we need to consider our security steps. First up, protecting our computer. Antivirus software, firewall software has to be installed and running. Now, it's included for free with Lenovo notebooks and desktops. It should be enabled. You know where we stand on that basis as far as this show goes. You want to have your firewall software running. You want to have your antivirus software running and up to date. But we can also make sure that we have our fingerprint reader up and running. And the fingerprint reader is going to protect us in two ways. The first way it's going to protect us is by preventing unauthorized access to our computer, not physically letting somebody get onto the computer and start typing away and changing things and looking at things unless they have the proper fingerprint or thumbprint to access the computer. The other way they're going to protect us is when we're browsing the Internet. We all go to websites that uh, have usernames and passwords, and they've always got a checkbox saying, do you want to check this box so that next time you come back you don't have to remember your username and password? And we all say, yes. And we really shouldn't be doing that because what happens is a cookie is written onto our hard drive with that data in it. Now, it's fairly well protected, but it is at risk. So if somebody manages to get access to the cookies on our computer, they can gain access to our accounts. And that's a problem. We can use the fingerprint reader to replace those sorts of little checkboxes and cookies so we can still have the convenience of just swiping when we approach a website and not having to remember our names and account numbers and passwords and still have the convenience of getting in very quickly. That's a great use of the fingerprint reader. Okay, next area of security, backing up and recovering lost data. And for that, we go in to the Protect My Data area, 
and backup and restore data. And this is the ThinkVantage Rescue and Recovery 3 software. Now this protects my data in two different ways. The first way is it backs up my data onto a partition in my hard drive. The hard drives today are huge, so we have plenty of space to back everything up into a protected partition on our hard drive. The second way it can back up is to back up my data to a remote source or a removable source. We set it all in setting our schedule and preferences and what I would recommend people do is daily do a backup to your own hard drive and then maybe weekly go to an outside location like an external hard drive or even to a network location. You see you have to understand where most problems occur. Over 90 percent of computer problems are software related. Corrupt files, the like that cause the computer not to boot or perform properly. In those particular cases we can back up directly from our partition very safely and very easily. The odd problem is a catastrophic hardware failure. Our drive gets damaged somehow and we can't recover the data from that drive. In that particular case you want to have that external backup so that you can recover from that point there. So I recommend daily backing up locally, weekly backing up externally. Now a few other very important things happen. Your partition is protected on your computer itself so that if you ha are hit by a virus for example it's not going to be able to get into the partition and infect the partition. So for a virus recovery you can recover very quickly and easily. And and you don't just recover your data, but you also recover all of your applications. So for the time from disaster to recovery is dramatically shortened. What happens if you do have a problem is you hit that Lenovo Care button as you're booting, you're brought into a recovery console, and then you can recover everything directly from that total point. Actually, I'm kind of disappointed that I haven't had an opportunity to do it. I'm hoping for a major catastrophe so that I can recover just to see how well it works. It should be a good time. Lenovo Care and ThinkVantage are well thought out tools that give small business people the ability to stay on top of all of their security and maintenance issues. If you fit the profile of the small business person, well then you're going to want this kind of support and backup. For more information about any of the products we cover on the show, drop by our website at dototech.com.